Do you think you could hold on to second? No. You can't. I'm being honest about it, and I think uh, if I finish in the first four or five, I've done a job. Um, I've done a job for, for, the, for our country, for our people, and I've done a job for myself because I'll be back next year. I'll probably weigh about 50 pounds more, and I'll be a lot stronger. Well, this next event is described in the running order as the uphill race with engine. In fact, it's uh, really a bizarre wheelbarrow race. These are the wheelbarrows. We don't look anything like them, but in fact, they're, they're engines mounted on this chassis, 800 pounds in weight. That's about half a mini. 500 pounds of the weights on the front and 300 pounds on the handles at the back. And the object is quite simply to get up this incline as fast as possible. It's 150 feet to the finishing line and the person with the quickest time picks up the 10 points. So, Henry, uh, what do you think uh, of this event? Do you think it's going to be a difficult one? Oh, oh, my God. Well, I know fuel's expensive, Derek. I know I'm a big, strong boy, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> God. He's right, you know. Heat one, then. And it's two men Set. going, Gerard Dupree on the left and Dolligavich on the right. <laughs> Nothing between them at the moment. But as that incline gets steeper, it's the Canadian shot putter who gets ahead and wins fairly comfortably. A win then for Dolligavich from Canada. Gerard Dupree not doing too well there, but. He's up against a bigger man. Heat one and a win for Bishop. Set. Now we go to heat number two. And Lars Hedlund from Sweden on the left. Larry Kidney, the bulky par lifter on the right. And it's Hedlund away. 18.55 to beat. We'll have a look at the time in a moment because Hedlund wins this by quite some way. A good victory for Sweden. And a faster time. About a How second up there. It's tough, man. How bad is it? I'm tired like hell. What did you reckon was the technique in this one? Because this is a faster time than the last uh, heat. Well, the only thing I did was take it up and push nothing else. Short steps. This is what we were waiting Set. for. Jeff Capes on the right, Kazmaier on the left. Kazmaier leading the contest by four points, but in joint second place at the moment. Jeff Cates. It's very difficult to control those wheelbarrows as they swerve all over the place. Kazma is doing it much better and is going to win this by a few feet. But what's the time? And it's an amazing 14.40 and Cates also 15.37. It's a killer, huh? Oh, very. Apparently we're, we're leading East first. I'm second now, so. Don Reinhold on Set. the right. Leave Dean the massive 31 and a half stone on the left. And this time, Dean struggles, and Reinhold, who gets top marks for courage in this contest, struggling with that leg, but well ahead. Well ahead. Cleve Dean seems to have packed it up. A win for Reinhold by a long way. So Dean pulls out, he doesn't finish. Looking a little distressed, Don. How are you feeling? I re pulled my arm and my leg again. So oh, my goodness. It really hurts. Well, which is worse, the leg or the arm? They both hurt so much, I don't really know. Jerry Hannon on the left has also pulled a muscle in Set. his leg. He's taking part in the last heat. He's decided just to start the race and then to stop. He still gets a point for taking part, but off goes Billy Graham, hoping to get a fast time, and that's the time he has to beat. Superstar Billy Graham, a wrestler known all over the world. He's wrestled in Australia, Brussels, Tokyo, Moscow. And he's drawn crowds of 50,000 people in America. A smaller crowd today, but an enthusiastic crowd. And as always, Billy Graham likes to kid along with the crowd. Jerry Hannon not feeling too happy with things. But the show business in Mr. Graham always gets to the fore. I'll take you to Madison Square Garden right now. That's the score after the engine race. Billy Kazmaier on 10 points. Jeff Capes has nine. A great performance, that. Lars Hedlund on eight. Bishop Dolligavich with seven. Don Reinhardt, the current world's strongest man, on six. Gerard Dupree from Holland on five. Larry Kidney, four. Billy Graham, three. Cleve Dean, two. And Jerry Hannon, one point. And after four events, Kazmaier leads by five points. Jeff Capes is now all alone in second place. A great performance. Then comes Lars Hedlund, Don Reinhardt, and Bishop Dolligavich. That's the position after four events. Next to the steel bar bending contest. Here the fellows can use their hands, their teeth, their head or their neck. 
Well, you see what I mean. Only five of them are left, though. Headland, Dolagevich, Dean, Capes, and Kazmaier with the steel bar 11 sixteenths of an inch thick, four foot six inches long. Watch all this energy being pushed through that bar. I remember you get Capes won this a few weeks ago in the Europe event. Are these really human beings? Listen to the noises. Time is coming up fast, and Kazma is the only one we think to have finished. The rest still struggling. Yes, Kazma is wandering around there very confidently. He's done it. And wins very comfortably. Capes in second, Edlund third, Dean fourth, and Dolagevich fifth. I wonder what Bill thinks about Jeff Capes, the athlete. He's really surprising. He's a fantastic athlete. Mm. Praise indeed from Kazma, who wins that with 10 points. Capes, 9. Headland, 8. Then comes Cleve Dean on 7. Bishop Dolagevich, 6. Graham, 5. Dupree, 4. Hannon, 3. Kidney, 2. And no points to Reinhardt. And after five events, here's the scoreboard. Kazma, a lead by six points from Jeff Capes. Lars Headland in third place. Bishop Dolagevich is fourth. And Don Reinhardt in fifth position. Then comes Dean, Hannon, Kidney, Dupree, and Graham. This is a fridge freezer. It's 420 pounds in weight. And they have this strapped to their back in a special harness, and against the clock, they race uphill over a 100-foot course. Of course, the man who's fastest against the clock picks up the 10 points. And think of it another way. 420 pounds, that's the equivalent of uh, Cleve Dean's weight. Now, he's the largest man in the contest. Imagine having a Cleve strapped to your shoulders and then running uphill with him. Doesn't bear thinking. Anyway, that's what's in store. Here comes the event. Hannon versus Reinhardt. Well, Jerry didn't finish in this event, and Don didn't even start. All right, Don, I've heard that you've had to pull out of the competition. Now, um, now what's gone wrong? Well, just too many injuries. I've uh, we pulled another hamstring today, and yeah. if I should possibly pull it again, it could mean surgery. So it, it just isn't worth it to, worth to stay it. into the contest. The unluckiest man in this contest, Reinhardt. Here we go with the second heat, and there's Billy Graham, and that's Larry Kidney. Let's watch them in the fridge race. And it's superstar Billy Graham. A victory for him. And the time? Well, we'll find that out in a moment. And that's it, 16.98 versus 19.95. Eve D, farmer from America. And up against him, Holland's strongest man, Gerard Dupree. You met him a few weeks ago in the Europe contest. Dean has proved in that truck pool that he uh, has a certain mobility. And indeed, it's very close here, even though he's a 13-stone advantage over Gerard Dupree. And at the line, it's neck and neck there, 400 pounds on his back, and a very fast time, two seconds faster. And that's Gerard Dupree's wife looking on to find out what's happening. Lars Hedlund from Sweden now, and that's Bishop Dolagevich in the next heat. 14 and a bit seconds to aim at. And the Swede has a technique, short steps, lots of speed, and that must be quick. And indeed it is, by about two and a half seconds, and even Dolagevich is inside the previous time. That's Lars's wife. Here comes Bill Kazmaier, and that's Jeff Capes in the most important heat for Britain. Men who are first and second overall. And Capes! Pushing on, listen to it. 11.66 to beat. We're looking at our watches. What is it? Is it faster? It is. It's faster by about a second. And Cakes wins his first event. Ten points. Kazmaier with nine. Headland on eight points. Dolagevich with seven. Gerard Dupree has six. 
Cleve Dean five, Billy Graham four, Larry Kidney three, Hannon on two, and Reinhardt no points. That's it after six events. Kazmaier now with a five point lead over Capes, who's four points ahead of Headland, who again is six points clear of Dolagavich, the top four after six. Well, this is where the bunnies quite literally go up in the world, on the shoulders of our ten strong men. And it's quite simple. Let's just see how many of these lovely ladies our strong fellows can lift. Daffy, Nina, Toby, and Sue. Lovely names. And along with the apparatus, it's 620 pounds for Larry Kidney to lift. The white flags up, it's a good lift, and encouraging him, Larry's wife. Indeed, all the wives have arrived here to encourage their husbands in this strongman contest. This is Jerry Hannon. And this is a good lift, it is. Next to go, Gerard Dupree from Holland. And at that position, he can't get the bar up again, so he had to pull out. Alida Dupree being a little anxious there, but taking a record of this event. Superstar Billy Graham. Ooh. I think he's stuck in that position too. No, no. And all of them now getting heavily strapped. Bishop Dolagavich from Canada. And up. And it's correct, yes. Two white flags and his wife, very happy. Lars Hedlund now from Sweden. Ooh, yes. Good technique. He made that look easy. This is probably where Jeff Capes feels he'll not do too well up against all these piloters. Let's see what happens. He's done it. He's done it through sheer competitiveness there. Jeff Capes getting through. Bill Kazmaier. And that looked easy. And it's a good lift, but there seems to be a problem over the previous lift from Jeff Cates. Let's find out what happened. What have they done? Because you moved me your feet? They're giving what? me another attempt. Yeah, I moved my feet. Oh, and you're not supposed to what, move your not feet? Not supposed to move my feet uh, oh, no. from the position which I'm supposed to start from. So the lift is uh, not good if the feet are moved out laterally. He did move his feet laterally. However, because of the, the nature of the event and, and the difficulty of it, we're going to give him another chance at it. And uh, as a commissioner, this is my decision, and I think it's only fair. But that's where the problem lies. Get that weight back up again. Let's see. A brave attempt from Jeff Cakes, but an unsuccessful one. Right, with Linda and Sheila on board, uh, a few extra weights, and we've got 934 pounds. Kazma getting some much needed oxygen to attempt this weight. Hannon and Dean have both failed. Kidney failed as well, so it's Headland and Kazmaier left to lift it out, and Headland to go first on 934 pounds. Come on, Lars, gotta be tough. Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. But he's stuck there, and he's failed at the weight. So it's all up now to the current leader in the contest, Bill Kazmaier. Just watch. The concentration in this place. He's made it, and it's ten points to Kazma. Lars Headland with nine, Larry Kidney on eight, Dolagavich and Hannon have six and a half points, then come Capes, Graham, and Dupree on four. Cleve Dean on two, and Reinhold gets no points at all. And so after seven events, here's the leaderboard. Kazmaier leading by ten points.
from Lars Hedlund now in second place, Jeff Cates just a point behind third, and Bishop Dologevich in fourth position. That's it after seven. And we can find out in a couple of minutes' time whether Bill, in fact, becomes the world's strongest man. He is leading at the moment. And more importantly, we want to know whether Jeff Capes is going to make the final four for that tug of war. You can find out the answers to those questions in the final part of the program in just a few minutes' time.